All right. So yesterday we showed you how to create just your basic, um, some of the basic tools from your Pixar editor, some of the, the simple ones and just playing around with those things. And, um, and so today we're gonna show you how to upload an image. And there's really three images that you can upload. One is a complicated image. One is a simple image and one is an easy image. And those are my terms. Those are my words. Uh, easy, complicated, and um, or simple, hard, complicated. Those are my words here for you. So basically, um, when you upload an image, we're going to do the exact same same deal as before. We're going to say create new, and we're going to hit create. And so here's our, our space here. And now on our page here, I have linked up Google Images. So you can go to Google Images, and you might just want to think of a place it doesn't matter a place where this can be. So we can do uh, outer space. It could be a beach, could be in the mountains, could be a game, could be wherever. But we're going to look here in outer space and we're going to find an interesting place, maybe like this one right here. So if we click on that, what you'll do is you click on the image one time. And then I think you're going to have to save this to your downloads okay but i think on my computer i can copy you can try copying it might work but i'm going to guess it you're going to have to save it to your downloads and then we're going to go into our photoshop here and we're going to go edit paste for you you'd have to go file open new so there it is and so what we're going to do is we're going to click on this and now we're going to change the size of it okay so if you notice when i paste this in we have our background layer, which is just our black background, and then our planet layer that we just pasted in. If we go over here to edit and click on free transform, that's gonna allow us to grab a corner here and make sure that our planet um, fits here properly. So we're gonna Zoom out here just a little bit so I can get a little bit better, better deal here. We're gonna zoom out. There we go. So you can see a little bit better. Now we're gonna go back to this and rescale a little more. Free transform. And this we're gonna stretch it out. That's okay. It can be stretched out. And there it fills the design there that I want. We're going to click yes. Yes, do we want it? Yes, we do. Okay. So now, um, as we click on other things, other things will come up. So now we're going to go back to our outer space. And we're going to put SpongeBob out there. So I'm going to type in SpongeBob. And when we look for SpongeBob here, there's two different ways to look for SpongeBob. So I want a full body SpongeBob, you know, one where his full body is there. So I'm gonna take this one and um, I'm gonna um, copy this image and then I'm gonna go back to my Pixar editor and I'm gonna go edit paste. Now watch what happens when I hit edit paste. It's gonna cover everything. You, know, you can see the whole planet, all that stuff. I really don't want all that. All I really want is SpongeBob. So I'm going to go here. I'm just going to grab with my simple rectangle tool here, SpongeBob. And I'm going to go edit, copy, edit, paste. So now I have the SpongeBob I really want that's in the design. So I'm just going to slide him over here. And I'm going to go over to this one. See how this is up? On my keyboard, I'm going to hit delete. And get rid of that. I don't need that one anymore. So, so now we have SpongeBob here. And I'm going to do this edit, free transform. And we're going to, you know, move into position. I could make him floating if I wanted to, however I want him. But let's just say he's standing out here looking at the world here. And so we'll say that's what we want. That's how we want it. Yes, that's how we want it. And now we're going to zoom in. And we're going to show you how to get rid of 
the background, okay? So on a complicated one, we'll call this one the complicated background, okay, the hardest one first. On a complicated background, we're going to take an eraser, and you're going to come in, and you're going to erase everything up to M, okay? And you're going to have to go all the way around. And I would suggest clicking up every once in a while. And you can erase all the rest of this stuff out here. It's not going to erase the world or anything. It's just going to erase this because I'm on that SpongeBob layer. Make sure you're on the layer that you want to erase, right? And so you can adjust the size of it this way, and you're going to go around this image. That takes a while to do that, but I definitely want you to be able to do that because in your final design, you're going to have to do that. Okay, you're going to have to show me that you know how to erase and crop and go around all that stuff. Okay, so that's one way to do it. And I'm going to show you the, uh, the complicated and the um, easy one today. So that's complicated. Now, if I go back to this one, SpongeBob, and if I look, and let's say I do this one. So if you, or you can even search SpongeBob with a white background. Or solid background. So I could do this one, like this, and I want to do that one. There's three ways, actually. Actually, we'll show you all three. So the easy way, let's just do SpongeBob white background. There we go. SpongeBob white background. And so maybe I'll do uh, this one. Okay, and then we'll copy the image. We'll put it in our, oops, went the wrong way. We'll put it in here. Edit, paste. There he is. I got to shrink him down. He's way too big. So first I better zoom way out here. He took over the whole screen, didn't he? Edit, free transform. You would have shrink them all the way down to normal size. Let's say he's back here, they see each other and they're running at each other, maybe. So we're gonna say yes. We want that. Now here's how you get rid of a white background. This one's easy. The second one down on the right is called a wand select. And all you do is you click on the white. And it's going to select everything that's around it. If it's a flat color like white, see the marching ants that went around it? Now on my keyboard, it's going to hit delete. And then you can click on the rectangle tool here and click one time and there. See how quick that is? Okay. So here's complicated. Here's simple. We'll call it simple. White background. Now I'm going to show you how to do easy. Here's easy. If you type in SpongeBob up here, and then follow it up with the letter P and G. That means someone's already gotten rid of the background. See the checkered stuff? So now if I copy this image and I go back to my thing and I go edit, paste. See it's already taken off. Now sometimes the PNG is fake news but sometimes it's not. So if it is, then just grab another one, look for another one. So you have to practice today uploading an image onto a background, this is still practice, of complicated, multiple complicated, multiple uh, simple, and multiple easies. KK? You guys got it? I get busy.